Welcome back to another episode of Nothing to Fear. Today I decided to do this one out in the light, you know, in the glory of the sun and stuff like that, because I just finished getting my shit together, basically. Literally, I got all my shit and got it together. Uh, what you're looking at there is the newest part of my studio. This is the, uh, the preparedness corner. The uh, empowerment station. The, uh, one, of the, one of the things I did to uh, eliminate fear and fear-based thinking in my life. And uh, let me take you over here to it. Led Zeppelin. But, uh, yeah, this is just about everything you need. And keep in mind, I am going to add a little more in those uh, containers you see right here. But, uh, you've got your trifecta of survival, basically. You've got gear, water, place to sleep, thing to make warmth with, food, ammo, water, 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 energy, a little soap, light. And, and that's really all you need. You know, that's all you need to get by. And so I finally got my stuff together and put some away, put some, you know, valuable peace of mind preparations away that uh, are basically going to ensure that just short, you know, short of mutant werewolves attacking my backyard, you know, I, I'm, I'm not getting be worried about anything that's going to happen because I already know that I'm going to be fed and sheltered and uh, have access to uh, appliances and uh, power. And I'm also going to have access to light whenever it gets dark. And I'm going to have gear to bug out and a car to do it with. And luckily, too, I store gasoline, so I'm going to have some gasoline to uh, get out of here with, too. Notice those are sacks right there. Need to uh, put all this in the rucksacks if anything goes wrong. Done. Videos in both those. Don't mess with Texas. What, what you're looking at there is uh, two bags of sushi rice, which sushi rice can not only be eaten and it's, you know, it cooks rather quick and it, and it tastes pretty good, but uh, you can also pound it into a paste and it makes wood glue. So that was just another thing I thought, hey, let's, let's make it. all this stuff have as many purposes as it can. Uh, we've seen what an, ex what an ammo can will do. And uh, I don't know uh, if a lot of you are putting away salt, but uh, these are boxes of just uh, kosher salt is what I like. It's mild and it's, you know, it's not, it, the iodized salt's not incredibly bad for you. Uh, that's a box of ice cream salt, rock salt. And that's also to, prefer, to preserve like salted fish, salted game, you know, stuff like that. Uh, never tried Spam, but I went ahead and bought some because I've heard varying things about it. But uh, everyone I talk to, survivalist likes it. Of course, some good old cans of uh, Alpine Air and some honey and whatnot set aside. And this is a lot of sugar and canned goods and stuff like that that I know are shelf stable and aren't going to go bad. So, uh, and uh, I don't know if any of you watch Nuggets of Truth, but uh, I wanted to give him a plug and uh, remember to check your cans for uh, use by or best before because um, those are two different terms. Uh, uh, use by. That's an, if it's got an expiration date on it, used by, you got to throw it out. But if not, you know, the food's just going to be, you know, older tasting. And really, frankly, I've ate some old stuff in cans out of uh, nice restaurants. So, you know, I'm not complaining. Got the fletching equipment and solar generator. Even got my little uh, gas fire right there. Found a really good deal on some of these nice light bulbs here, but these are compact fluorescents and my rechargeables. So that's what you're looking at. One more thing I thought I'd share with you is, uh, you know, when you're planning on hunting or you're planning on being able to shoot you more food and get it home and eat it instead of have to go to the store or, you know, may maybe trap rabbits or raise stuff. Um, they say the variety is the spice of life and they say that like spices on food really taste good and they're not wrong so uh just keep in mind you know unless you want to be eating plain bread and rice or whatever every night you know you might want to invest 
in a good amount of different seasonings, like barbecue seasoning. What doesn't taste good? I mean, strawberries taste good barbecue, for God's sake. And of course, you know, just coarse ground black pepper to do sausages with and stuff like that. And there you have it. One of the ways you can get rid of fear in your life is to replace it with assurances. Now I have my assurances, and hopefully you will too. So thanks for watching, and always remember, there is nothing to fear. Mm -hmm.